Well, the votes are in, and it's come down to two movies, Infinity Ooh. War and Endgame. Here to reveal the winner of our Marvel Cinematic Universe bracket, we've got our in-house Marvel <laughs> guru. Stephanie yes. is here. We're Hello. so excited about this, Stephanie. Oh, I'm excited. Because Absolutely. everyone has been waiting to see who has won the That's bracket. Right. You betcha. Okay, yeah. take it away, because okay. we want to know. Oh, yes. Yeah, so what we did is every year our station does like a fun bracket. So yes. last year we did Little Debbie Snack Cakes bracket, which of course oatmeal cream pie dominated. Of course. But anyway, yes. so this no year doubt. we decided to do Marvel movies. So uh -huh. I took all 23 and ranked them 1 to 23, okay. with Infinity War being my favorite Marvel movie. And okay, so are course, these ranked based on your favorites? Just my favorites. how they're seated. Okay, got Number it. Number 23, of course, the worst movie in the MCU, Iron Man 3. <laughs> okay. So that's how we started. Strong and we opinions. basically just got right into round one. Okay. Uh, where we did see a couple of uh, surprises, actually. Yes. So the first one that I noticed was number 20, Ant-Man and the Wasp, beat out the original Thor movie. I think it's up here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so beat out the original Thor movie, which I was surprised by. Yeah. But yeah. I like arguably, Paul Rudd is great. Yes. His uh, humor is good. And then you add in Evangeline Lilly. She was fantastic. The original Thor movie, they were still finding their footing. Thor was very dry. Yeah. So a lot of people didn't get into it. But okay. anyway, so that was one Fair. of the upsets. Uh, we also saw number eight. 18 down here, Black Panther. Yes. Beating out the original Captain America, the yes. first I'm Avenger. All about it. What of course, there you go. Of I course, Black Panther, a completely different type of Marvel movie, yes. right? We saw an audience of people get into Marvel movies that probably would not have otherwise. And of course, we got to appreciate uh, Chadwick Boseman for the amazing portrayal oh, as yes, the Black no Panther. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So, yeah, that was fantastic. So then we move on to the Sweet 16 okay. in our next column. Uh, Infinity War completely destroys Spider Man Homecoming. <laughs> yeah. Even though, let's be real, didn't even Tom get a Holland, vote. it didn't get a single vote. Uh, Tom Holland. Hands down, best Spider-Man that's ever been on screen. Uh, okay. okay, okay. He does. He portrays him as an actual teenager. It's fantastic. Uh, so that movie destroyed the other one. Uh, one thing that made me mad was number nine seed, the original Avengers movie, oh, yeah. beat out the number eight seed, Guardians of the Galaxy 1. I didn't like that either. I didn't either, because Guardians, like, I love Chris I love Pratt. Guardians. Star Lord is hilarious. Yes. Um, Guardians also, best soundtrack. Talk about your oh, necklace. Yeah. You I got do. I have a Guardians right of the Galaxy necklace uh, that I had handmade <laughs> just for the movie. Oh, my God. Uh, but yeah, so that one was <laughs> Also, it was pretty close, but okay. it kind of upset me there as well. <laughs> uh, and then what else? So, oh, Captain America got his due down here at the bottom uh, when he beats out... Uh, Wait, where is it? Oh, here we go. Right there. Yes. Captain America Civil War beats it's out Black, Black Panther. Panther. Okay. Uh, yeah, for the Sweet 16. So pretty pretty handily there as well. So that moves us on to the Elite Eight. Elite right. Eight. Back up here at the top, uh, Avengers Infinity War easily beats out the original Avengers movie. Um, no surprise here as Infinity, Infinity War, biggest movie Marvel had ever made to date. Literally every MCU character that had ever been was in Infinity War. <laughs> right. So that one moved on. Yeah. Uh, we also saw a fun movie, Ragnarok, Thor Love Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. Beat out Age of Ultron. Ultron. They were pretty close in rank, but uh, Ragnarok beat it out pretty heavily. If you haven't seen it, the movie is hilarious. Yeah, it is oh, yeah. Funny. Um, yeah, Thor has definitely found his footing as more of a humorous character. Taika Waititi was brought in and completely reshaped the Thor storyline in that franchise. We yeah. see Hulk again. And the dynamic between Hulk and Thor Fantastic. was amazing. Hilarious. Yeah. Loki so has good. a great part in that movie. Uh, yes. Kate Blanchett as, as Gila has a great part in that movie. So, fantastic movie overall. Okay. Uh, then another close one, uh, number two, Captain America Civil War, bar like barely beats out the original Iron Man. Oh, just by, by one, one vote. Okay. One yeah, yeah, vote. yeah, that yeah, was a close here. one. Mm. And I mean, uh, Iron Man kicks is what starts the MCU off, right? Yes, I so, love that movie. So, original Robert Downey Jr., but Civil War, again, is our first look at what it was like to have all these Avengers right. in one movie. So, right. fantastic move. Okay. So, that gets us to our final four. Yes. Two major defeats here. Infinity War beat... Ragnarok. Okay. Pretty eh, yeah. decent amount there. So Infinity moves on. And then Avengers Endgame beat out Captain America Civil War. Just like destroy it there. So right. you got Endgame so and Infinity War. Endgame and Infinity War. That's okay. the two last movies. Okay, now right? we don't know who's actually yeah, won. Stephanie know. wouldn't even tell us. So I think I know by the way that Stephanie's walking around. So the here's studio. the winner. We've got video, I think. Uh, but the winner by one vote. 11 to 10 Ooh, close. is what close it was. Championship. Uh, it was Endgame. Won, won the yes. whole thing. Yes. So, okay. That's yeah. what I voted for. So in, in Infinity War was a Thanos movie, right? That was your best villain ever written, was, was sure. Thanos in Infinity War. And I will still argue it's a better movie. However, Endgame was like your goodbye to the Avengers. We said goodbye to all of them. We did some fun time travel. Uh, but yeah, we got to see 
like how it all wrapped up. We know that Robert Downey Jr. is done as Iron Man. We had a brilliant death scene there yeah. <laughs> when he died in the funeral. Uh, Cap, we know, is done. Chris Evans has said he's not coming back. Uh, we got to see him catch Thor's hammer, which was brilliant. We also yeah. got to see him use the, the words we've been listening for. Avengers Assemble! That's it. He says in, in Endgame as well. We know Hulk is coming back in 2022 and She-Hulk. Yes. Thor is coming back in 2022 for Thor Love and Thunder. Can't wait. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, if they ever will release Black Widow, will be back. It's supposed will. to be in July. They they uh, and then, of course, the useless Avenger, Hawkeye, Jeremy Renner, will be back at the end of this year with the Hawkeye series. on the, No love, love for Jeremy the Renner. Useless Burn. Burn. The useless Avenger. Burn. Burn. But anyway, this was a great bracket. I had a lot of fun with this. I'm glad yes. everybody participated. Yes. It was yeah, organizing all of this. Oh, so no, absolutely. It was a lot of fun. Yes.